Okay, so derivatives of multi-rate functions, gradient and Hessians. And uh, in the lecture, we start uh, with a one-dimensional example because we, we, we want to settle the notion of differential, which is uh, a little bit special in our course. Uh, if, if, if I have a nonlinear function and I'm staying at the point x naught, I can uh, drive linear, best linear approximation of my function, a linear function which passes through the same point and has the same slope as my original function. <clears throat> and I do define the dif differential, it's the uh, increment of this linear function. So I give some increment to my argument, d dx, and the increment of the linear function is differential. And uh, on this slide, I, I, I will show you in a little bit more details. So I, I am staying in the point x naught, and uh, I built a linear function, which has general expression, some constant b plus some constant c, multiplied by x minus x naught. Uh, and I want this linear function to have the same value at the point x naught as my original function. So I can easily conclude that b should be equal to f of x naught. And I, I want it to have the same slope. The slope of my linear function is uh, c, and uh, it's derivative. It's derivative of this linear function. So actually, uh, I want this line to be tangent to the plot of uh, original function. So the derivative of my linear function should be the same as derivative of the uh, original function. And then I say that differential is increment of linear function. It's just uh, c multiplied by dx. But c is equal to f prime, so it's f prime multiplied by dx. It's uh, set the basis for our immediate extension to multivariate case. So in multivariate case, uh, for example, in my picture, I have two variables, x1 and x2, and my function f. And also I have some uh, plane, which is tangent to the plot of my function. And I give some increment d dx to my variables, and differential function is the uh, increment of this plane, of this linear function. So this is a general expression for linear function. Again, it's some constant plus c transpose by difference of x. So c is a vector of the same dim dimension as x. And uh, again, my condition that at x naught, the function and its linear approximation is the same. So b is equal to f of x naught. But now I say, in order li for linear function to be tangent to my original function, its uh, partial derivative in every variable should be should coincide. Its slope, if, if I move in, every in each variable, the slope uh, on this one dimensional picture of my linear function and of my original function should be the same. And this, is, uh, this ex expresses it. The slope of partial derivative of this linear function is just C ci, because you see here you have sum of ci xi. <coughs> so ci should be equal to df by d xi. And, uh, and of course, uh, differential uh, uh, increment of linear function is c transpose multiplied by dx, which is written here. But I know that c and vector of partial derivatives, it's the same. So I, I conclude that my differential is uh, vector colon of partial derivative, which I call gradient, transpose multiplied by d dx. So this is the basis of all our developments. Uh, so this is a good point to ask questions. Okay, now we will consider notion of full differential of function of two vector variables, which will bring us to the way to differentiate a complicated function of x e in the case when x uh, is entering function in uh, several places. Uh, for example, as uh, in quadratic function, f of x uh, is uh, x transpose ax. If I assume I have a function of two vector variables, then uh, uh, the linear model, the more general linear representation, the linear approximation of my function <coughs> has separable form. It's some vector transpose uh, multiplied by increment of u plus some other vector multiplied by increment of v. This is the most general form of uh, linear uh, approximation. That's why if I ask what, what is the dif differential of f, it's uh, a transpose multiplied. It's the same as differential of my linear approximation. It's a transpose multiplied by du plus b transpose multiplied by dv. <coughs> and then I assume uh, let the u depend on my uh, variable x, which is also some vector, yes? And more than this, I say u of x equal to x and v of x equal to x. And of course, du is the same as dx and dv is the same as dx. And then if I have a function where x is coming in different places, 
I uh, return to this expression. This will be after substitution. I will get a transpose multiplied by dx plus b transpose multiplied by dx. It, it's, it is to say that I can uh, freeze uh, uh, my function, say, in second variable and say that only x is uh, changing and get this first term of differential and then do opposite and get this the second term. And this is what we did in the lecture in the quadratic function. If you have x transpose ax to get diff differential, first of all, I look on this axis variable and get this term. And then I look on the second axis variable and get the second term. Sorry, I repeated everything because the recording was off and now. <laughs>